Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that affects millions worldwide, yet is often misunderstood herpes simplex virus. So if you've ever wondered about the causes, symptoms, and how it spreads, you're in the right place. Stick around, because this information might just surprise you. Now, let's kick things off by addressing the elephant in the room. What exactly is herpes simplex virus? Well, it's a highly contagious virus that affects humans, causing a range of symptoms that can impact our daily lives. But before we get into the nitty gritty details, let's talk about how this virus sneaks its way into our bodies. Herpes simplex virus primarily spreads through direct contact with an infected person, particularly through oral, genital, or anal areas during sexual activity. But wait, there's more. It can also be transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin contact, including kissing, sharing utensils, or even touching infected areas. So, it's crucial to understand these modes of transmission to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Now that we've covered how it spreads, let's talk about what happens when the virus takes hold in our bodies. One of the tricky aspects of herpes simplex virus is its ability to remain dormant in nerve cells after the initial infection. This means that even if you don't currently have any symptoms, the virus could reactivate at any time, leading to outbreaks. When the virus reactivates, it travels along the nerve fibers to the surface of the skin, where it replicates and causes those all too familiar symptoms. These can include painful blisters or sores in the affected area, along with itching, tingling, and even flu-like symptoms in some cases. So there you have it, a crash course on herpes simplex virus. By understanding its causes, symptoms, and modes of transmission, we can take proactive steps to protect ourselves and our communities. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more science-backed content. And as always, stay curious and stay safe. Until next time.